Hello, I'm Chris from Serving Style and today we're gonna have a look to the new board range for Elevate Kiteboarding. I'm making this review for 35notes.nl and we're not gonna review every specific model, we're just gonna have a look to the new improvements that have been done this year. Therefore, we're gonna have a small video chat with Franz Schitzhofer, he's the board designer for Elevate, so I can ask him some questions about the new developments. But first, let's have a look to the board range of Elevate. The first board is the Ignition, which is a progression free ride board. It's made for all level riders um, and it will help you to lift your uh, kite skills to the next level. The following board is a Process, which is a performance free ride board and it's an advanced performance free ride board with a nice grip, early planning, very playful in all conditions um, and it's made for kiters who just want to go high. This year they made also a carbon version of it and it's, a, it's called the Process C+. The C Plus has just the same shape as the normal process, but due to the carbon fiber, it just giving you that little bit extra aggressiveness in boosting capacity, so it acts more like a catapult. And the following board is the Master. The Master is a freestyle free ride board. It's made for kiters who just want to go high to make staggering mega loops um, and do want some and, and want to make some technical uh, freestyle tricks. In terms of uh, freestyle free ride, it just unites the best of both worlds. Uh, and also in the Master, they have the Master C Plus, just like the process, also the carbon version, same shape as a normal Master, but due to the carbon fiber, also that extra aggressiveness, so you can fly higher than before. And last but not least, there is the Commander. The Commander is a pure wake style freestyle board. It's made for people, for pure freestyle guys, wake style guys, uh, but also I've noticed that a lot of big air kites are using this board because they say you can edge this board just a little bit more than all the other boards and therefore it will send you a lot higher than all the other boards. But for me, my favorite performing board is the Master C Plus. Why? It, just, it is just a very nice looking board. The carbon fiber details on the board is very nice. It's a very smooth board. It has a lot of flex, it cuts through the shops really easy, it's, for me it's the board to go. If you're asking me which is the best looking board this year, it's a tie between the Process C Plus and the Master C Plus. About the new developments this year, there are three biggest changes. First, they have a new rail design called the PRS, it's a parabolic rail shape. Uh, it's not present yet at the, at the Commander, it will be next year, but uh, actually the PRS rail is a tucked under rail um, and it improves upwind travel, uh, it cuts better through the chop and it redirects spray away from the, uh, from the rider. Also they introduced on the Master and the Master G Plus a beveled rail. And a beveled rail is actually a very strange rail if you have a look at it. It's very thin at, uh, at, the, at the tips and then it goes wider on the feet area and in the middle it's, it's thin again. It's, uh, it's really strange if, you, it's strange if you see it in the beginning but it should generate more speed and hold the load better. And I must say, I've noticed this when I was testing this board uh, early this week. And last but not least, they've made an uh, upgrade on the Ergo V1. So now they have the Ergo V2. Um, it's a better design, more versatile in uh, flexibility in adjusting it. Uh, it seems, uh, it looks nice, it it's, it's fits nice. Okay, I'm uh, really happy with that, 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 that upgrade. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, these are the three biggest improvements this year. So now let's have a chat with uh, Franz, so I can ask him about his improvements and why. Hello Franz, uh, nice meeting you. Uh, you're the board designer from Ele Elevate Kiteboarding. Um, today I would like to talk to, with you about the new board range that uh, just uh, is, has been released by Elevate. So uh, I've seen that there are quite a few uh, new things uh, introduced in the new board line. So let's talk about it if you have the time for me. Hi Chris, Hi, Chris. Thanks, thanks for the invitation. Yeah. Okay, the first thing that I've noticed when I saw the new board line is that you introduced the new process C plus or the carbon version. Last year you introduced the master C plus. Why the decision to introduce uh, also a carbon version from the process? Uh, yeah, so carbon is a possibility to boost uh, the performance of a kiteboard, um, especially for free ride boards. So uh, carbon, carbon and uh, especially the spread dough carbon we use on Master C+, uh, it increases the speed of the rebound of the tips. 
So in other words, uh, the, the tips flex faster. And this uh, gives you the opportunity to pop faster. And especially when you have choppy conditions, this helps you a lot to, to boost high and to, to have nice performance. For sure, carbon also makes the board lighter. Uh, this, this is always important and nice. And uh, there are a lot of other benefits. And because of these benefits, uh, carbon is used in uh, many high-end uh, sporting products, you know, like bicycles or windsurf masks, windsurf booms, tennis rackets, and so on. So, so carbon is very, very often and very common in sporting products. Unfortunately, it's expensive. Okay, and uh, why didn't you uh, introduce it to the smaller and the biggest size in the process? It's a, it's a simple answer. It's a, a question of, of, of minimum order quantities, of forecast. And uh, at the beginning, when you start with a, with a new model, uh, you have to, to check the market, how is the response, and if there is the, the demand, for sure, Elevate will uh, do other sizes too. Okay, and uh, is there a certain reason why people should choose the carbon version or why they shouldn't you choose the carbon version so no it's it's in in the end from 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 quality and from uh, this side uh, durability there is no difference carbon is a little bit lighter the performance is higher and uh, yeah it's more expensive it depends on the rider and for sure uh, if you have the possibility just test it okay you can, but if you can people test it, if test people it. just buy the regular Car, uh, the, the regular process or the regular master, they're fine with that board also, of course. I'm, I'm pretty sure that, that they are fine also with the regular uh, process, also the master. So, it, But it depends a little bit on the on the riding style. It depends on the spot where you're riding. When you have choppy conditions, even if you have choppy conditions, I'm pretty sure that the carbon version is slightly better. Okay. Okay. But actually, people cannot choose wrong if they took the carbon or the normal version. No, I think it's both sports. Okay. Okay. So both sports, uh, the, the, the tuning and the setup of both sports is unique and uh, it, it's, it's, it's a different setup when you use, when you produce or when you design a carbon board, you have to do some other small uh, amendments that you have to change some small parameters so yeah. that the performance is similar to, to Okay. To, uh, Okay. Another big thing that I've seen is that you improved a lot of things into the rails. So for instance, yeah. there is a, a uh, a cold rail, it's PRS. What is the PRS standing for and what does it do actually? So the PRS is uh, in the end, this is a tucked on the edge. You maybe uh, know from your surfboard or windsurf board. And I tried to integrate this to a very thin uh, twin tip. Uh, it's only possible with very technical CID and CIM uh, programs and also in the factory you need high-end CNC machines to do this but uh, in the end uh, it works nice so the idea behind this is that due to the tuck on the edge the board is sitting a little bit deeper in the water and uh, that creates much better upwind performance and on the other side uh, a more comfortable ride and less spray so better performance uh, yeah. Less spray <laughs> and so on, com yeah. more comfort. So this is in, in, in the end, it's perfect for a kiteboard, and it works. So we tested it a lot, and it works. And so we we invented this. Also, it's a little bit more uh, technical, uh, technical, and uh, you have to for sure it's a little bit more expensive, but it works so nice that that so, uh, we do this. It's a brand new invention from from you. Yeah, it's it's not brand new, so you know this. Uh, we di I did this on windsurf boards 20 years okay. or 25 years ago, so it's not new. It was it's more a, a how to bring this uh, very common ray shape to a twin tip. That's not so super easy, uh, and uh, that it works nice. So and for sure uh, in the next seasons or years, for sure this will okay. be the standard. Okay. A second thing that I've seen that in only only introduced into the master and the master C plus is is a is a beveled rail. I, I just received my new master C plus and it's it's a really strange pattern of of, of rail. Yeah, so we have on the master and master C plus we have have bevels. Uh, bevels or step down rails gives you the opportunity to change the thickness profile of the rail. And when you have a close look on your master or master C plus, you will recognize that the rail in the center of the board is thinner than beneath that 
the footpads. So you have a thin center, you have a fat rail on the footpads, and then you have a very thin tip. So this uh, is a combination. Uh, you have nice carving abilities. You have bite of the rail, and uh, you have the pop. But for the pop, you need the box rail beneath the footpads, and uh, the thin tips bite in the water for pop and for, for carving. So it's a good combination, and it works. Yeah, I've I've tested last week. I've been testing both. I've the Master C Plus from uh, 2020 and also from 21, and I tested them in the same session, and I noticed a big difference between the two boards. The new one is it's more flex and it, it's 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 different running. It's it's it feels softer also. So. Yeah, you feel the difference. In that's, my opinion. that's the thing behind <laughs> all the time. So when you develop a board, you do the CAD and all these things. But in the end, uh, the most important detail on the kite board is the setup to find the right setup. So the flex, the rock yeah. and everything. And that you can only do, uh, you can do some in simulations. You can do a lot, but you have to test it on water and you have to compare it. So when I have a new board, I compare it first with the old board, yeah. with the old master. Yeah. It's clear, and then you you test the board. You compare it also with with boards from other brands, and then you find uh, it's a it's a process. What takes some months, and then you improve and improve, and then you get hopefully a result. Yeah, you notice the improvement on the Master C Plus this year for sure. It's it's a big difference. <laughs> it's a big. Thanks. I'm really happy with that one. I'm really happy with that. So, cool. you introduced the PRS rails and the bevel rails, but they're not introduced into the Commander. What, what's the reason for that? Uh, the reason is that the life cycle of a mode is two years and the commander was uh, invented last year. So we had a nice uh, uh, facelift this year with some improvements uh, a little bit from the flex pattern. We changed some details. We have a new graphic and for sure for next year, uh, there's a complete new mode with, with a lot of details. I'm just doing the work on this, on the CAD. And also for sure, the, the POS rate will be okay. included for sure on the mass on the on the commander too. I'm looking forward for to, to see that board. So okay. Yeah. Yeah, All, we will be surprised. Yeah. A third thing that I've seen is that you introduced this year the new version of the Ergo foot straps. So you have the uh, version two now. Um, what's the what do they offer more than the version ones? So the Ergo 2 has a solid base plate. Uh, so you, when you have seen it, you can. Yeah. It's, it's easier to to mount this base plate on the on the board, and it has much more uh, possibilities for changing the angles. Also, you have uh, instead of only one velcro, you have two velcros. Uh, that gives you more uh, possibilities to adjust the footbed to different size of feet and to your. Uh, uh, what you prefer, uh, for sure, it's a little bit more comf uh, a little bit more complicated, and uh, but in the end, uh, there was a demand, uh, there was a request for this, and so we tried to to to, to do these uh, requests in this new Ergo okay. two. Uh, the version one, they will disappear, or they will stay in the range, or. No, um, we are just working on the on the version one for improvements. There will be some improvements and some changes, and for sure, as soon this as this work is finished. Uh, we will release the uh, okay. Ergo B2. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's the same name. That's a, that's a thing okay. Elevate has to decide. Okay, but the version one, uh, the version two, they look very nice also. So uh, I like them. For me, it's, it's, it's yeah, but we have to. It's always when you have a, there's a one footpad and you have another footpad, you have to separate it a little bit. So it's yeah. not, not good to have the same product. So no, it's true. It's, uh, it's totally different because the, the the version one it's 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 a little bit easier to fit. But the version two, they're they're, lighter, yeah. they're better adjustable, so they have both yeah. their profits. Yeah. So, so and that's yeah. for sure what we try to achieve on the, with these improvements to make it easier, more accessible, especially for example, like on a board like the process, you want an easy board, light board, and for sure for this is uh, we will do these improvements on the ergo. Yeah. Besides those three biggest changes this year, are there other small improvements on the board that 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 are need to be told? Yeah, for example, when you have a look on your new uh, Master Carbon C Plus, uh, you you will see uh, immediately that you have a glossy UV lacquer ring. Yeah, really shiny. Glossy UV lac yeah. ring is nice and it protects the board for the colors, especially to fade out, and uh, also it gives the opportunity to use uh, different top sheets. For example, on the bottom we have very very solid. Uh, polyamide top sheets now when you compare to the old version there's a big difference and uh, the same is on the but the same is also on the norm normal master not only the c 
Plus and also on the Process C Plus. So these top sheets are there and it makes a better look and more durable uh, base. Uh, that's for sure a very important improvement. The, the, board, the, the, C, the, the, the Process C Plus and the Master C Plus, they really look nice, very, very nice. I'm really happy with those, uh, how the, the, the looks of those boards. So I'm really... I, Cool. Yeah. So now I have one last, maybe the difficult question for you. What is your favorite board in the entire board range of Elevate? So from the board range of Elevate, personally, when I'm writing, I'm, I use the, mainly the Master, the Master C+. But I also like very much, and sometimes when I don't have another board, I like the, the process. But in the end, uh, I'm in R&D and uh, I'm developing boards and uh, actually I'm writing always, or I, mostly I'm writing the boards from next year. That's the benefit of my, my profession. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'm actually developing, developing the, the new commander, so actually I'm writing on the commander to, to check some details. Okay, friends. That, those are my questions. I really want to thank you for uh, this interview. I hope thank to talk you. to you soon again. And uh, I would say in these days, keep it safe. And, uh, yeah, that's later. the most important thing, keep it safe. And yeah, go out riding because then for sure you have the right distance to the next one. That's true, that's true. <laughs> okay. Thank you very okay. much, friends. Bye. See you next time. Bye bye. So that's it for me today. If you want to have more info about the new products from Elevate, go to the website elevate.com or to servingstyle.be. If you want to stay tuned about the latest uh, news about kiteboarding, just go to 35knots.nl. See you next time and be safe. Bye bye.